Hey guys everybody, Augmented Today. Today we're going to be talking about the low investment medium Flame Charm build. And this build is actually really, really good on the EU side of things. Um, a lot of people have told me, oh, this build is like crazy in EU. A lot of people use it. And uh, I want to shout out Guild OG for allowing me to use this build and showing it off, right? Um, you know, they, they, they basically made this up, this build for me to use. And uh, yeah, we're going to be going over today. So let's go over the stats of the pre-shrine stuff. You want to get reinforced armor. So 90 fortitude, uh, 40 or 30 willpower, whatever, which one it is, right? And then after that, this build also has all the gods. So 65 willpower and 40 intelligence. And then it got tap dancer. You don't really need to get tap dancer because you kind of have it on every build. So you might be able to save some of those points and put it in elsewhere, right? Um, and then afterwards, it shrines and it gets, you know, all the stuff like at 40 strength. And then the rest of the points go the flame charm and medium right so let's talk about the champion sword why champion sword i'm probably gonna make another video talking about it in more in depth but basically the champion sword at a low investment of only 37 because this is a con allows you to have good m1 damage or decent m1 damage as you can see right here while being allowed to use like things like an enchant and um yeah like another medium weapon of choice because this thing swings faster than a hero blade and it gives me access to things like providence thorns or metal right which are both not really reliant on m1 damage they're both like enchants that play on top of any build which is really good because this build's main damage is from the flame charm mantras let's go over the flame charm mantras here we have fire forge fire blade strong left well, it's not really fire mesh but burning servants ash lamb got the wisp belief reinforce and radiant kick right and so basically you essentially have three guard breaks right strong left fire blade burning servants and basically the idea is that you're playing off of all these basically off a m1 feint so you'll m1 and then you'll m1 and use the mantra right so a good example could be like m1 into burning servants all right so yeah that's kind of the idea there's a ton of sustainability with flame wisp and reinforce also if you want to like flame leap um this build doesn't have meteor slam but if you do get meteor slam if you're on fire you can flame leap and give yourself that five percent for free and the idea is generally that you just want to keep using your mantras and go ahead and go crazy uh, with the combos, right? Um, a lot better players will like uppercut into like a flame leap and then M1 into like a radiant kick and we'll be able to do an uppercut combo there. You can ash slam into radiant kick to so, like ash slam radiant kick. That's true. Like you can't, a lot of people are not able to immediately uh, ragdoll cancel out of Ashlam and then pair the Radiant Kick. It's pretty much impossible, right? And you can kind of tie these all together. So if I like block break with the strong left leading into the Ashlam leading to Radiant Kick, that's just a combo right there that goes crazy, right? And so yeah, that's kind of the general gist of the build, right? As for the equipment, the equipment on this build is crazy. You can get crazy health on this build. This has 550 health, right? With 37% physical armor. Um, that is a lot, a lot, a lot of tankiness for your build especially with the amount of sustainability you can have with this build so yes this build can get a very high amount of health the equipment here is all really really good um so yeah there was a lot of min maxing done there and of course the bell you know who else you know what i mean like reaper it's just going to be your classic you can probably use other bells if they fit you but again reaper is probably going to be a top pick for any build really and yeah that basically covers the essentials of the, the build right um again the main uh, component of this build is that it has a low medium weapon investment that a lot of people would be, would be like what that's trash like why would you ever use that but if you actually fight a good player who knows how to use the champion sword at low investment and use this build to its full power it's a very very strong build and a couple of people have and asked me to nerf this sort of build so yeah i just want to go over ahead and uh, cover this uh build because i thought it was pretty cool and i played on it a lot and that'll be it guys peace